What's up everybody, Serenity here and today we'll take a look at Sledge, one of the best roamer slash flanker in the game. So let's take a look at him. So first off you have a pump action shotgun and an assault rifle. Now I personally use the LED5, the assault rifle, because I like to control long alleys and just be a lot more flexible. The shotgun is going to force you to play a really aggressive role, which is not a bad thing with Sledge. Sledge can be played very aggressively. It's just that the assault rifle brings a lot more flexibility. Now I like to use the holographic sight, the compensator, and the grip. I don't use the laser because I'm not going to be firing from the hip a lot. Now in the sidearm, you have the pistol and the SMG-11, which is a submachine gun. And trust me, this thing is going to save your life a ton. It's just deadly, it's super reliable, and it really has the power to get yourself out of these horrible situations you'll get into when playing Sledge. And as for the gadgets, use the frag grenades, do not use the breaching charges, they are super super redundant with the rest of your team and with your hammer so honestly there's no place for arguments just use the frags they're amazing and to finish out the loadout you have medium speed and medium armor this is just you know great all around now if you use the AR on top of that it's gonna make Sledge such a flexible character you'll be able to take on whoever whenever and wherever you want now what I want you to understand is that Sledge doesn't bring anything new to the team, you know, the ability to break down walls is something that everyone has, and so your role is not to break down the walls for the team like a lot of people seem to think. No, your role is to go out alone and create crossfires, flanks, to get some early picks, or just make the defending team a lot less comfortable with their positioning. Now what's great about Sledge is that everything seems to line up with that playstyle. You know, you have a great gun, the LED5, which is personally my favorite gun in the game. Uh, you have medium speed, medium armor, which is great. I mean, you're going to be able to roam really well, but still win these 1v1s. And you have grenades to make the defenders even less comfortable with dealing with you. So you see where I'm going with this? Everything makes sense with Sledge. And that's what I like about him. Now, since Sledge is played in a very solo type of way, you need a player that shoots really well and that has good situational awareness. You know, one that has good decision making. Now, he needs to understand that when things are heating up in the main fight, he needs to speed it up. And, you know, when it's really quiet, he needs to slow it down because you don't want too much attention on one single guy. It's really a tough thing to master, but extremely rewarding when mastered. So, you know, just remember that practice makes perfect, and it's gonna take a lot of time to understand all of those mechanics. So, don't put too much pressure on that guy when he's learning. Yes, he might miss some important firefight, or he might get himself into trouble a lot at the beginning, but that's okay, it's part of the learning process. Now let's compare the hammer and the breaching charges. The hammer makes a lot less noise and a lot less smoke, so basically that's gonna grab less attention than a breaching charge would. So that makes the hammer a flanking tool and the breaching charges a map modifier. You know, with a breaching charge, you can't really blow it up and then look in the hole straight away because there's gonna be tons of smoke, everyone's gonna turn around and look at you, but with the hammer, however, you can break you know a window and look in that window right away because you didn't make that much noise not everybody is gonna look at that window and you didn't make any smoke at all so that makes the hole usable right away now again think about it all of this makes a lot of sense with the solo kind of playstyle you're gonna be adapting now don't get too caught up in the solo kind of playstyle that I'm talking about some of the times you're gonna have to go with the team because there's not gonna be a lot of flanking possible and so you can just be a part of the squad in those times now let's talk about that LED5 for a second. I'll just explain to you why this is my favorite gun in the entire game. Just look at the stability and the damage output that this gun has. I mean, it has 30 rounds, which is more than enough in most cases, and you're just going to be outgunning people from long range and short range. It's just a great gun that Sledge needs as a roamer. And that's why I strongly advise using the LED5 over the shotgun. But if you really want to be, you know, up in their face all the time, the shotgun is also a viable option. I wanted to show you a round that me and my friends played in the Big Six tournament on day one because that round shows the power of frag grenades. Now I'll get you into context. Um, basically the other team told us that they have never lost a single round so you know they were a pretty good team obviously and we saw that they didn't have a lot of people on the A site. So our plan was to blitz A site plant and then get out of there so that we could defend from the outside. Here it is. I'm planting. Locker room, there's a there's a hole in locker room guys. Get an A. I'm planting. Get an A. Planted. Get the fuck out of there. Watch, watch, watch the bomb, watch the bomb. We planted, we planted for outside. Good watch job, bomb, watch the bomb. Good job, Bidon. Oh oh. Throw some frags. Throw 
passing a frag. I got one, I got two! Okay, the last one is shooting us. Good fucking nice. job, guys! And as you can see, my two frag grenades totally saved the day there. And that clip is just a reminder of how good they actually are. Alright guys, this is it. It was a pretty short review, but I think it's one of my better ones. I really nailed pretty much all the points that I wanted to talk about. So in conclusion, Sledge is a great roamer for the attack team. He creates great crossfire and is just awesome at making the enemy team really uncomfortable. On some maps and on some configuration, you won't really be able to do all of that. You're just going to be part of the team, but that's all right. It's not necessarily a bad thing. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please consider subscribing as I'm going to be really active in the YouTube community. And uh, yeah, check out my new outro. in panic and wait for it triple kill <laughs> trust me you'll get so many kills throwing nades uh in the kids bedroom it's just worth it every single time